everybody, welcome back to small town Minnesota. It's about 5.30 right now, I decided to get the kayak out, get the fishing pole out, gotta catch a little fish. It's hot today, it's like 85 degrees, 90 degrees humidity, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. But, it makes me a good day on the lake. This is perfectly still out here. So I'm gonna head right up around this corner here. Um, try to fish up around this point. Like I said, I have no idea where to go here, but let's see if we just can't find them tonight, huh? One thing I just learned about this, check this out, right? Especially good for kayak fishing. Boom, problem solved, I don't gotta hold on to that anymore. Kayak fishing, it's best to consolidate everything down to one if you can. So I just put some of the essentials I want to work with here today. Well, since I'm set up like this, I'm going to start with the bobber. If I'm not having any luck with the bobber, well then, goddammit, I'm going to try something else. Jesus. You see what I mean when I say I'm not a fisherman? Look at this. I've been out here five minutes. Not even. I got a big tangled mess. Let's try yay deep. Grab worm. I've done it before where I just try to pinch the worm off basically, but I'm no longer about that life. Nobody needs worm shit. I'm gonna be efficient with my worm usage here. He knows he's on the blade. Oh, I'm so sorry. It didn't even happen. There we go. Nice clean cut. Stab twist. Stabby stab. Stabby stab. And stabby stab. Put this right over there. I am feeling a little snagged. What? Everybody to take a look at this. Um, I've been fishing here for about 20 minutes now. It's about my third snag. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Why won't they just eat it? That's what you do. You put the worm in the water, the fish eats the worm, you reel it in, everyone's happy, and you have a blast. That's how fish. I need to move on. I need to find a better spot. This spot sucks. Alright, I've changed spots. We're gonna see how this goes. Kayak fishing is not a, a simple thing. You're floating around, you gotta paddle, you really gotta watch where you're going, you gotta fucking fish to top it off. Spot change. How's it going? There's a man over there. Doesn't seem friendly. Update on the spot where my dad caught all the fish. No fish here. Alright dad, your spot officially sucks. I'm moving on. New spot. Whole new confidence, baby. Feeling good. Not the spot. I'm gonna go up this shoreline here since those reeds were very, very unsuccessful. First one of the day. Hey, look at this. Not sure what he is. Little. Anybody able to say what kind of fish that is? Board though, right? So I caught a second fish. He's about the same size. I'm a little concerned for the well being of this particular fish. He's not going to live. Well, that sucks. Sorry for what I've done. Thank you for a few seconds of entertainment. Um, okay. This is awkward. He's dying near me. Miranda made up. A good buddy of mine just pulled up. 
his family on their speedboat. Just said, hey, good timing. It was right when I was catching that fish. Switched out the worm again. You know what they say, third worm's a charm. Sweet boat. You got you guys fishing tonight? Yeah. Yeah, I'm too. I'm trying to catch something, but. Oh, did you? Is it? All right, I might have to give that a shot. It is. It's one of those things that's super easy once you do it. There you go. Nice. Have a good one, man. Fishing wasn't nearly as successful as I was hoping for. I did get a couple little smallmouth bass over on the other side. So next time I know where to fish, I know what kind of baits I need to bring. Maybe I have a better idea of where to fish, I should say, and I have a better idea of what I need to bring. But it was great out there. It was beautiful. It was peaceful. Um, got to see some people jump the cliffs. Saw a buddy out on the lake. A couple random surprises that were pretty cool. So all in all, a good night. So, I wish I could have caught more fish for the camera, but there's always next time. So, even if it's not successful, there's always something to take away. So, at least now I have a little bit better idea what to do next time. Thanks for watching. If you're still watching, I know not a lot of fish probably means it's going to be a little boring, but we'll see what it looks like. Thanks again. Have a good night.